Hey guys, welcome to the All Things Wild podcast channel. Today we have Lindsay Leone. He is the CEO of Ocean Guardian. He's going to be talking to us about how their Shark Shield technology works. It's awesome stuff. Please subscribe and comment below. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and I'll check you out next time. You know, I, I got a master's in marketing and it's been the most exhausting, difficult marketing job to convince people that you can stop an animal moving at 30, 40 kilometers an hour coming in to attack you, but it yeah. does. Sharks and rays have got the same senses that most other animals and humans have got to find their food. You know, and that is, you know, sight, sound and smell. They've got these little gel-filled sacs in their snout called ampulla of Lorenzini. Now these little electrical receptors, they use those exactly the same way you and I use touch in the dark, right? So you run an electrical current at a particular wave shape between the two electrodes. It creates a very powerful electric field. And if you could see it, kind of shaped like a gridiron football in shape, so what happened is the shark comes in, it thinks it's going to, you know, experience a tiny, tiny, tiny electric field, and it gets this electric field that's thousands of times more, causes those little electrical receptors to spasm, and it's like me shining a bright light into your eyes mm. in the dark. You go, oh, and you turn away. Exactly the same effect, and they turn away. I mean, like, it, and it's amazing. Like, it's so good. And, you know, spear fishermen are probably the most extreme, if you think about it, you know, as far as ocean goers, you know, like me surfing, sitting on my surfboard out the back, right? Um, you know, if a shark comes up to me and I've got, you know, the Ocean Guardian product on my board, you know, it's not like I'm sitting in chummed up water bleeding. You know, the shark's yeah. going to come in and it's going to go, what the hell is that? I don't know what it is, but it hurts and it's just going to move away. But you take a spear fisherman, I mean, they're basically ringing the dinner bell. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. give you an idea, um, you've probably seen the documentaries um, on, you know, Discovery Channel or Shark Week or Shark Fest where they tow a little rubber seal across the top of the ocean. It's like a silhouette of a seal. Yes. And they do this in South Africa and the shark, the white shark, comes from depth at pace and clears the water. Right, you know, yeah, they yeah. Up, right? It's full on scary stuff, right? Well, they put the shark shield technology underneath the seal decoy, right? They towed 189 times, half with it on, half with it off. With it off, they had 16 breaches where the shark, you know, broke the water and 27 interactions where the shark, you know, interacted or hit the seal decoy. With the shark shield technology turned on, zero breaches, and only two interactions with the seal decoy. Now there's a great white shark coming from depth at pace in full attack mode, turning away. So what I find, and, and this is consistent from all of our customers, is they just go back to enjoying the sport they love. That's what you're trying to do. Comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Like that? <laughs>